Recognizing the groundbreaking women moving Maryland forward from the first woman wing commander of the Air National Guard. Regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, that you can, it's, it's really about the person and their qualifications and their ability to lead. It has nothing to do with anything else but that. To a former U.S. Senator who blazed trails in and out of the halls of the Capitol. Though my family owned a bakery, I wasn't going to Washington to be a cream puff. <laughs> As we recognize Women's History Month, we're highlighting some of the extraordinary women breaking new ground for future generations. That's all this morning on 11 TV Hill. And hello everyone, I'm Jason Newton. Welcome to 11 TV Hill. Women's History Month celebrates the important contributions women have made and continue to make in our changing world. Uh, this morning we are sharing the stories of several extraordinary women who are transforming our military, our country, our community, and even our environment. Joining us now is the wing commander for the 175th wing of the uh, Maryland Air National Guard, Brigadier General Joy Robinson. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, this is fun. We got to talk a little bit off camera. And, uh, and here's what I'm curious of. You gave a speech not long ago and just said that people should have goals and plans for their careers. And I'm curious uh, what your goals and plans were. And, and did you see this role in your future? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty passionate about uh, people sort of setting setting goals and setting uh, their aspirations really high. And I think I did that starting at really an early age. Um, it was probably in the mid not, mid 80s, probably 85, a movie called Space Camp came yeah. out. And um, I absolutely fell in love with that movie. And that's when I looked at my parents and said, I want to be an astronaut one mm -hmm. day. And um, as I got a little bit older and started developing a plan moving forward, I come from a military family. The men in that my family had served in some way, in some capacity, in uh, in the armed forces, and they all kind of pointed me towards the Air Force, and uh, to go into uh, pilot training and to become a pilot. Um, and so that was sort of the path that I took throughout high school and. Uh, uh, applied for the Air Force Academy and applied for ROTC scholarships and um, ultimately decided to turn down my nomination to the uh, to the Air Force Academy because uh. I wanted to go to a four year college and uh, have that traditional college experience. Uh, did ROTC and uh, I'm sitting here today as an Intel and cyber operator because unfortunately I have a bad back. Uh. <laughs> so sometimes those goals and uh, aspirations that you set, they take these detours. So. Could I ever have imagined myself sitting here? No, this was, this was far beyond. I have surpassed far beyond what I ever thought was going to be possible. You're uh, building, you're building airmen and women to fly those A-10s, also to do some intel operations. But as I read about you, your teaching and leadership goes beyond what we see. It seems like you're building uh, adults um, into a world where you want them to become leaders and to know a lot about not just their physical health but their mental health as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like to think of uh, building our leaders as more of like a holistic and, a, and building a resiliency within yourself. Um, we can teach you all the skills and we can teach you how to be the best in your profession that you could possibly be, but you need to take care of yourself too. Um, and with that comes both mental and physical health. So we put a lot of emphasis here in the 175th wing on being resilient and focusing on those things that um, can help you achieve your professional goals as well, whether that's through our airman care team that puts together a, 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 wealth and, a health and wellness week um, that focuses on financial security, mental, um, mental health, um, physical health and uh, just having it and building teammates. I like to think of it, like I said, as a holistic approach to building the best leaders we possibly can to serve our, our, our nation and to serve our community. Last question for you. Knowing that you are the first woman uh, to hold this position, what does it mean to you and what does it really mean for the armed services to have you in that chair? I'm so proud <laughs> of, of uh, our wing and of our airmen um, and it's an honor, I think is probably the best way to, to put that. It's an honor not only to lead this wing, um, but also to be the first female uh, to do this, to, to be able to do this job. And I'm humbled by the, the support and the uh, belief in me that, that I could do this job. And I think it's really starting to, to set the standard that um, regardless of the background that you come from, regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, that you can it's it's really about the person and their qualifications and their ability to lead it has nothing to do with anything else but that ah, 
Well, my house is on some sort of flight path, I think, for the A-10s. There's a certain whistle that that plane makes that I can hear from yeah. anywhere in the house, and I love it every time I hear it. I'll think of you next time they fly over. I'm so <laughs> great. Well, we have to get you back up to the wing at some point so you can take a tour again. I love it. General, thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you, too. Bye-bye.